Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to display numbers in a national identity number format. So a national identity number format could be something where in the United States you have the social security number, maybe in India you'd have the ad hoc number, and in the UK there would be something like the national health service number. So with the social security number, that one, what we can do is I can select a cell, and you can either right click and go into format cells, or you can press the keyboard shortcut, control one, which will bring up the same thing, the same window. And in this format cells window, you want to go under special. And as you see here, there's already a sample type for social security number. So if I click OK, and I would type in 111, a social security number in the United States is nine digits. So if I type in 111, uh, 111, and press return, it's going to format it with the dashes in between the appropriate areas after the first three digits and then the two digits here and then the last four digits here so it's going to put dashes in between so if I did it here it's going to do the same right so it's going to put the dashes in between so you can also do that with the a different set of numbers so what we need to do here is we'd have to create a custom number format so in this case if this is a 12 digit number I just have to create a custom number format I just press control one and go under custom and the custom norm number format, I'm going to type in, let's see if it has anything that's similar to it here. So if it doesn't, basically what you can do is you can type it in. So I'm going to put a zero. Zeros are the placeholder for numbers. So I'm going to put zero, zero, zero. I think it's going to be four digits separated by a dash and another four digits and then another four digits. Now if I click OK, You'll see if I press in, I think it's 12 digits, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's going to separate it out by each, each of the four digits by a dash. Same here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we can do the same for the UK one. So this is 10 digits. If I select that and right click it, or I'll right click this time, you can do Control 1 or right click, go into Format Cells, Custom, and this one is going to be. 10 digits. So I'm going to press 1, 2, 3, and a dash. That's 1, 2, 3, 3 characters, 3 digits there, and then 4 digits at the end. So if I press return, if I try it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can see that it has put it in. Now, what if I type in less than 10 digits? If I type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or let's say I put 11 digits where it's supposed to ask for 10 digits. You'll see that it didn't format it correctly and in, in fact the extra digit it put it put it over here to the left. Now if you wanted to do some data validation to ensure that the digits are within a constrained range you can put in data validation. So what is data validation? Well basically it's going to validate the data in here and make sure that it fits some kind of criteria. And so you, all you need to do is select the cells that you have, go into data, and go into data validation. And I'm going to click on data validation here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go under text length. So I want to make sure that the length, the minimum and maximum is going to be the same. So it's going to be minimum of 10 and a maximum of 10. And in the other tabs here, we can put input messages or error alerts. I'm just going to go ahead and put an error alert here. So if someone types in the wrong amount of characters, I can say you must have 10 digits. Now this only, this only checks for digit or text length. It doesn't check if it's a, not a number. So if you want to do it where it's not a number, actually it's going to have to be some formulas. But we're just in this case, we are assuming that it's a number format that's going to be entered and the text length is constrained, the number length is constrained. So if I click OK and I go in and I'll just delete that and I will press return. And now I'll go ahead and enter in a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops. 10. You see that it's added it correctly since that's 10. But if I add 11 or maybe 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You'll see now that I get an error where it says I must have 10 digits. And I can cancel it and it'll just 
go back to putting those numbers in or if I go ahead and type it in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten presenter and it says you have to retry I can just click retry and it'll let me go ahead and retry it again so I just add one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that enters it so you can do this data validation with any of the other number formats um, you can enter them in for in this case 12 digits or in this case nine digits so there you go so that's the way that you can display a number format for national identity numbers such as social security numbers or ad hoc numbers or the national health service numbers yeah, and make sure that they are displayed or entered in in a correct format so i hope this helps thanks for watching